she has hundred uh, percent responsibility to to make it uh, happen. My responsibility is to make sure uh, she feels confident uh, owning the process. Oh. <laughs> oh god, now I have to relax my face. Oh. Yeah. I was laughing too hard. I'm getting cramps. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi everyone and welcome to Macron Talks. My name is Matthias Grunborg, aka Macron, and this is episode 137. And here I share my scaling up journey, building my company I go moon from nothing to something and of course <laughs> as usual my friend and co-host Svea Malina Lanshoff how are you doing hi Matthias I'm good I'm happy you remember your name because we had to take this three times <laughs> Matthias had some yeah, troubles today there what happened there you, you said you were mixing coffee yeah. and like energy drinks maybe you shouldn't <laughs> but welcome exactly <laughs> to Macron yes. Talks that's Macron over there and this is for entrepreneurship run snack into reality Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, and Matthias has a framework for you guys. Oh. <laughs> yes, we have a framework for you guys. So every Monday we talk about self development, and I'm sharing my uh, self development journey, growing as a human being and a leader. And every Wednesday we talk about the entrepreneurial process. And uh, all the things I'm learning, uh, scaling up I Go Moon. And then every Friday I share my weekly inventory and then I talk about things that I could have done differently. And I'm also sharing what I've learned during the week. And we are celebrating the victory. I forgot your arm today. We always uh, do this. Always. Matthias. Yeah, but I saw <laughs> you raising your arm and I yeah. was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's from the yoga yeah. sessions lately, all the planking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it is Wednesday today, so let's talk business and scaling up and uh, the entrepreneurial journey. Yeah, and what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, Matthias, what? the entrepreneurial process. You let's tell me. This that. is your show here. I'm just the host. No, but um, I know <laughs> that you just recently recruited a new position, and I know you're very yeah. excited about that. And I think yeah. uh, so is she from looking at the Slack, uh, Slack channel and seeing how active she is, and that she is yeah. Matilda, the brand new yeah. HR person. So I yeah. know you have been going through the onboarding. I don't know if you're done yet. Probably not, but... Um, I'm curious how that looks like if you never had a position before and then you are doing an onboarding with someone. So in my head, it's probably like that, that you have some part of the onboarding that's the same for everyone when it comes to the culture and things like that. But then there's probably also a part that's more specific to the roles. Now, tell me, how is that going when you didn't have that role before? How do you create this onboarding around this brand new role? Yes, uh, great question. Typically, the, uh, my approach uh, for that is that I, uh, you know, visualize the goal for the role, mm -hmm. uh, and then I put in some uh, like reversed engineering, okay. and that's actually how I also s structure the um, uh, the conversation uh, with the with her in this case. Uh, like this is the goal what we should uh, achieve uh, during 2022 and uh, in in her case i i created like a um, organization chart mm -hmm. with all the rules we need to recruit for 2022 yeah because i would say 80 percent of her role is a talent acquisition role mm -hmm. and 20 percent uh, of the role is hr driven yeah when we have the goal i then and start to uh, onboard her on uh, different things we need to do. In one way, I'm also, you know, mm. pouring out all the things I have uh, in my head. And I also think that's um, the biggest challenge for her mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, there's everything is in my head. And, yes. <laughs> and then all the other rules at I go Moon, we, we have a an onboarding process for 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 the like the role specific part. Yeah. But 
Of course, now it's as you, you said, pouring yeah. it out because you were the only yeah. person doing that before, right? You Ex were taking exactly. care. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> it's yeah. tricky. But the, like the short answer is the the reversed engineering part. Like yeah. this is where we are going, or this is what we want to achieve. So right now we are doing a lot of work. Uh, I'm onboarding her on, uh, you know, the different. Uh, platforms we are using mm -hmm. for recruitment and also you know the work around HR mm -hmm. and uh, yeah we are going through the uh, the agreements uh, for the employments yeah. and uh, you know there's a lot of uh, things we also talk about uh, okay this is how we do it and uh, of course it's open for a lot of improvement improvements and uh, of course, I don't want her to take it and uh, uh, think that this is how we should do it. That um, brings me actually to my next question. Good that you mentioned that because um, since, you know, I, I said it before, but since this is a brand new role, I yeah. mean, this role doesn't really exist per se. I know you have, of course, done that before, but how much maybe responsibility is also on her now to kind of create the role for herself and, and the framework. I don't really know how to put it into words better, but I guess you need someone who also has a lot of discipline and self-leadership and comes in there bringing new input and like knowledge from before, right? Mm -hmm. So she uh, does have some responsibility there to create the role for herself? Yes, I mean, for sure. I think uh, that's super important because she, I mean, she... The thing is, that's why I'm doing a lot of like reverse engineering, talking about yeah. where we are going and the goal, because I, I really want uh, her to see. I don't I want her to see the goal so she could be able to actually start being creative how we should get there. So um, so I would say, uh, I mean, she has. Uh, I mean, hundred percent, hundred percent responsibility yeah. to to make it uh, happen. My responsibility is to make sure mm. uh, she feels confident uh, owning the process. Yeah, and because uh, like all the things around uh, the work, the talent acquisition, uh, and the HR um, work we do today is of course uh, open for improvements. Yeah. And now I understand even more what you mean with like the reverse engineering makes a lot of sense for especially her role, I think. And like you said, don't, you know, give her the way how to do things because she probably knows that very well and has some new ideas, but rather say, this is where we want to go to. What is, what would your approach be? Like, what would you do? I think that's a great idea to take it that way. And kind of also what I expected when it is a role that... Yeah, it's just still so new and you don't have maybe all the processes and all the ways in place yet. But maybe she helps you also creating this. Um, if maybe there's another person coming at some point, then you already have more of a specific game plan, I would say, to, to reach some goals. Um, but the onboarding process, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure how far you're in. You're probably still in the beginning. Um, but do you think this onboarding process now with her being a completely new role is going to take some more time than your normal onboarding process? I think it depends how big the company is. You know, if it's a 500 uh, people company, then the, then the onboarding is like six months. And uh, <laughs> in, in a small company, uh, it's definitely shorter. Still, it needs to be structured. Mm. But I would say in this case, we structured a little bit different because we have uh, three new people joining us in February and also mm. two people will join for an internship. Uh, so we actually jumped straight to the more role, how should I say, the role... Um, specific? Specific things uh, with uh, Matilda here now. And then we will put her on the onboarding schedule with all the new people. And then, you know, as you were saying before, you know, around culture and... Um, yeah. Yeah, like the more company, like the general things yeah. for an onboarding. But it so sounds speak. way so, more efficient than doing yeah. it like over and over just for every single person. Yeah. Exactly. So, so but typically at Agamon there is a 
like structured two weeks onboarding and then uh, you actually uh, start working. I mean, I think you, I'm, I mean, when you're, when are you ready? I think that's very depending, depending on uh, um, each individual. And, um, and is the onboarding really over just after you have learned the software and like learned about the vision and your role? I think the onboarding, even if it's not the official onboarding, goes on for probably weeks or months after that, where you really, you know, work into your role. I think that's that's true. You cannot really say this yeah. is like a three weeks onboarding and this is a one week onboarding or this takes three months or this takes six months. Yeah. So so we have a, a structured two weeks um, onboarding, as I uh, told you, mm -hmm. but then we also have uh, an onboarding um, plan for three months where we, you know, uh, we set up the right expectations around goals okay. and uh, yeah, like a grace period. So uh, you could summarize it, summarize it and say that we, we have like a 90 days onboarding okay. program yeah. then. Yeah. That sounds realistic. Because because as you said, it's always like, you know, you need to get out there and, and face the rea reality. And in that case, so uh, there is, um, of course, like an onboarding, there is a lot of onboarding and coaching going on yeah. um, with real uh, challenges. Yeah real life challenges yes i was about, about to say that like you have to actually start working on real customers with real colleagues and not just hypothetically go through it um but yeah i think that was it for today i'm excited how everything is gonna go with matilda and i hope she's gonna bring a lot of amazing new talents into the company and otherwise thank you guys for watching as always like subscribe comment if you have questions or want to add something to this episode and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any future episodes thank you yes <laughs> thanks you for watching see you in the next one bye 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 bye